Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're going to be looking at a 3M product. So this is the 3M uh, Scotch Bright Clean and Strip XT Pro uh, Extra Cut is how it says. So what this is is a silicon carbide that's embedded into a nylon web. And here's the high points of this thing. So what this is supposed to do is supposed to quickly remove rust, paint, uh, mill scale and adhesives from metal but do that in a way that it does not affect the base metal so you're not grinding into the base metal of whatever project you got so th we're gonna we're gonna try it out here in a little while and, and see just how well it works now some other high points is supposed to really conform to like the edges and corners of steel uh, a lot of times with these types of discs, what you get is they'll work fine on flats, but if you get them on edges and corners, they kind of just disintegrate on you. And it really depends on the brand. Some of them are pretty good. Others are, are just junk. I mean, if you get them from Harbor Freight, uh, some Harbor Freight stuff is actually getting pretty good. But if you're trying to buy your disc there, uh, they're ultra cheap and they're ultra cheap for a reason. They're just, they're just not good. But we'll see how the 3M holds up uh, as far as that's concerned. Uh, the and some of the other uh, high points is supposed to leave, uh, like I mentioned before, an ultra fine finish, but not really grinding away the steel. And it's supposed to do that with low vibration and low spark. Now, this was a promotional thing uh, where they're trying to push their product. So I got this for free. You had to go on to 3M's website, fill out your company information and everything, and then they got in contact with you and sent you out one for free. I really wanted a five inch, but uh, the promotion was for a four and a half inch. So we'll just use a four and a half inch. And this is, has a, a five eight 11 Arbor. So I've got, uh, I really didn't have a whole lot of, of bad steel. So I had to go to the yard and find just a, a chunk of one inch that was pretty oxidized and pretty rusted up. So we're gonna try it out on there. And I'm also gonna try this against uh, just your regular cut brush. Uh, not a cut brush and then I'm going to try it against uh, just your regular flap wheel. We'll put it on a, like a 60 grit and we'll kind of see how they compare and whether or not this thing is actually worth this money because they're pretty expensive. Now if it works well, I might have to go buy some <laughs> because uh, I do have a need for, for cleaning up steel, uh, you know, getting rid of, of rust and mill scale on many different occasions and it would be nice to do that without going through a plethora of of a flat disc if I can avoid it. So we'll see how this product holds up and that'll determine whether or not I go buy some more. Let's go check it out. Well, we've got our piece of steel here that has seen its better day. So we're gonna try to clean this up. The first thing we're gonna do is try it with a, a knotted cut brush. And then I'm gonna do kind of like three zones here so we can see the difference. Then we're gonna use a Norton Red Heat uh, ceramic uh, flat disc, 60 grit. And then finally, we'll use the Scotch Bright uh, Cleaning Strip XT Pro. We'll check it out and see kind of what the difference is. And then, if it works well, we'll just flip it over and do the complete other side with uh, with the Cleaning Strip Pro. So let's get started. Well. That's not bad. I mean, it gets most of it, but we're going to try it with, uh, with the other units now and see how it comes out. Okay, next is the Norton. Well, it does a fine job of getting through the, all that rust. It's left the mill scale, but it's a nice, smooth surface. So now we're going to try it. Uh, we're going to flip this around and try it with the Clean and Strip Pro. Oh, wow, that was fast. <laughs> that was real fast. Probably need to go over just a little bit more, though. Well, it didn't pull the mill skill, but it definitely got rid of the rust in quick fashion. Let's flip it over and we'll try it uh, the whole other side with this Clean and Strip Pro. Well, 
Well, it's not getting through the mill scale, but it's definitely getting through all of the rust with, I mean, just literally just swiping over it the first time, got rid of 90% of it. I just did a couple extra passes just to get a little cleaner. And I don't really see any visible wear on the disc yet. I got a little bit of feathering out on the edge, but uh, it seems to be holding up all right. Let's clamp this thing down a little bit better, and then we'll try to do some edge work on it and see if it's going to hold up well. Well, it's starting to feather out pretty good now, so it doesn't handle the edges real well. That's one of the problems with a lot of this type of disc is that you get it where they kind of really just disintegrate on you whenever you get into the corners of stuff, but it's holding up better than I've had other brands hold up. It's definitely doing its job though, and if it's used in the flat position, it works incredibly well and incredibly fast. So I think I'm gonna be investing in some more of these. Uh, this one, seems to be doing its job quite well and it you know single pass and it made quick work of getting rid of all that rust so i'm gonna i'm gonna withhold judgment for a little while until i kind of get a chance to use it a little bit more but from what i've seen so far they're pretty good they're pretty good this has been uh just a little demonstration of the 3m clean strip xt pro is that how it is yeah the clean strip xt pro extra cut disc i appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one.